MintPal is an exchange that uh, allows people to trade digital currencies with one another. And they recently got their uh, some reserves of Veracoin stolen from their servers by hackers. All other crypto, current, crypto coins on the site were fine, including Bitcoin. But the Veracoin was stolen. Um, so this is an example of, you know, an exchange being either incompetent or just just not protecting funds that well with cybersecurity. And this is the kind of thing that the New York State uh, Department of Financial Services wants to prevent, you know, people's coins getting stolen from a website. Um, do you think that these regulations would prevent anything like that from happening? No, I don't, I really don't think so. I think, I think it, these regulations would actually make something like this more likely because, how so? you, like, you, well, you know how we were, we were talking about earlier, it's just going to make it extreme, you know, a Bitcoin business in New York. Yeah. So if so, if somebody does decide to base an exchange out of New York, and uh, the, you know they're probably going to be the only people who do that because you're gonna they're going to be the only people who have enough money to be compliant with the law. So you, we're you would likely find yourself in a position where there's only one exchange in New York, and uh, if it gets big enough, it's going to become a huge target. Uh, and it's going to be a pretty clear and obvious target too, because it's the only one in the state. Right. So, right. so. Um, and you, that that security officer that you're required to hire, he better be damn good at his yeah. job, because yeah, you're going to so, be a big target in New York. Yeah, because I mean, the people who attack these, uh, who do these kinds of attacks, you know, they're really smart. Yeah. Like, you yeah. know, they're they're not idiots. So. Yeah, they probably if, see it if, as a job, right? They're they're hackers. Yeah. Their job is to hack and steal money. Yeah, so I mean, if if you set up a system where it makes it extremely likely, where only like one thing, like for example, like only one exchange uh, can can operate in the state because it's the only one that can afford it, you're just you're painting a big target on their backs. But and uh, and these hackers, they're gonna. Like they they know that there's going to be a bunch of money in there, um, and so they're yeah. going to devote all their time to cracking the security, and it's going to happen eventually. And there's and a chance be... they'll know exactly how much money is in there because of all the reporting that's required of these exchanges. Yeah, so and... hackers will be able to look there and be like, "Oh, they have they have thirty bitcoins on their servers right now," <laughs> or they yeah. or they did a couple months ago when they reported that. I'll just go in there and try and steal those right now. Yeah, and the, and then the hackers are going to use dark wallet, and they'll be yep. gone forever. <laughs> yep. Um. Yep. So yeah, it's pretty it's pretty ridiculous, but I just want to say about about Mint Pal, uh, I should probably uh, look up some updates on it. But uh, after it happened, they said that Mint Pal said that they are working with the Veracoin development team and all the other major altcoin exchanges to create a hard fork in Veracoin's blockchain. Mm -hmm. And uh, this, like, if the, if the fork is successful, it would allow them to uh, retrieve all the stolen coins and, uh, and uh, you know, just basically, like, reverse the whole attack. Wow. Um, I, haven't, I haven't heard anything about whether or not that, that happened or if, or if it was successful. Um, I'm definitely going to be looking into that and, you know, providing an update on CoinBrief once mm -hmm. I find that information. But yeah, yeah, that would be so, huge. That that would be a, a fantastic example of an exchange actually regulating itself and uh, and trying to get the money back to people in a pretty um, interesting way. You can't really do that with Bitcoin, kind of rewinding the blockchain or whatever. But with Veracoin, I guess it, they're still relatively small enough and the, the theft happened recently enough where they can rewind the blockchain and possibly get it, everyone's money back. Yeah, so, you know, Mint, Mint Pal and, and Veracoin and uh, apparently a lot of other altcoin exchanges, uh, they're working on getting the Veracoins back. You know, like I said, I don't know if they've actually done it yet. I need to look that up. But, you know, what really sucks about this is that Mint Pal is the biggest uh, altcoin exchange that there is. They're pretty good. I've uh, used them. Um, Dustin told me that um, that Mint Pal 
sees two to three times the trading volume as Cripsy, which is, you know, another really popular altcoin exchange. Mm. So, you know, so MintPal is pretty big. So, you know, this is pretty, uh, it's a pretty big blow for them and for, you know, the altcoin yeah. communities because, you know, they're like the most popular exchange is no longer secure. Yeah. It's kind of a tarnish on their record a little bit, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but they're working on it. You know, they they're ramping up their security measures so it doesn't happen again. You know, doing working on the hard fork. So I mean, they're not just letting it happen. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Self regulation is fantastic, and the reason why you're seeing that uh, happen more often these days is just the sheer number of exchanges that have that have popped up um, to to compete with each other and try and offer the best possible services to people. And that happens completely without any government regulation. Completely yep, organic. Because it's all, it all comes down to maintaining your profits, you know. And if you want to maintain your profits for a long time, like all businesses do, of course, um, they're going to do whatever they can to satisfy the market. Like, not that hard of a concept, but, mm -hmm. you know, some people in the government just don't like <laughs> They they either don't just can't understand it or they don't want to accept it because it means losing their power. But you know, right. E either way, they're ruining the economy.